the most complete guide about World Thunder Mobile. I will show you tips and the tricks that will help you to be the best player of the game using tanks, planes and the warships. Also, I will teach you all the possible ways to get the golden eagles and the silver lions. So stay tuned if you want to learn everything about War Thunder Mobile. Okay guys, this is the first and the most basic tip that I could give you about this game. Remember that at the end this is a mobile game, so you don't have to be worried for this to be the most realistic experience. I strongly recommend you to adapt the graphics according to how powerful is your device. If you have a low-end device, I recommend you to play the game in low graphics. This will make the game smoother and it will be easier for you to win more battles and grind all the platoons. But if you have a high-end device, just keep the graphics as you want. Don't equip too much shells, your tank can be destroyed easily if you have a lot of ammunition in your storage. Try to select the necessary, remember that in most of the tanks the ammo is located in critical points. And this will take us to our third tip. And it is be careful with angles, and it applies for both when attacking an enemy and also while defending your tank. The rear side of your tank is the most vulnerable spot of the tank. Normally this side is weaker since the ammo is located at this point. It actually doesn't mean that your tank won't be destroyed if you got hit in the frontal part of the tank, but the probabilities will be decreased. Also, it's the same when attacking an enemy. Sometimes the shells can bounce in the enemy tank. That's why you have to pay attention to the penetration indicator of the tank. Remember that a green cross means that there's a high probability that you could penetrate the tank in that position. A yellow cross means that that probability will be decreased to 50%. And a red cross means that there's almost no probabilities that you could be able to penetrate the tank. About the shell selection, which one is the best? Air more piercing or high explosive? So, I strongly recommend you to play with air more piercing. The more penetration, the best the ammo will be. That's my personal recommendation for you. Always pay attention to the minimap. I mean, sometimes it is useless, but most of the times it could save your battle. Also, at the most critical part of the game, and it is when you're gonna have an aircraft battle. So, I strongly recommend you to pick a strategic position when using your planes. You need to keep your tank hiding once you're using planes. So, there are 15 seconds delay before the planes battle starts, so you will have 15 seconds to hide or to pick a safe location. It happens that most of the beginners just stay in the same position if the tank remains in the open part of the map and it means that all the enemy tanks will be able to destroy you. Be careful with your airstrike aim. So remember that when you're using the airstrike, it is easy to aim at the enemy tanks in the map, but sometimes the tanks are in movement and that you have to take into consideration that the airstrikes have a short delay. You need to consider that it takes 3 seconds for the airstrike to hit the enemy. This means that if the enemy is in movement, you will have to aim a few meters before the current location of the tank. Remember that I told you that the rear side of the tank is the most vulnerable spot of your tank. Okay, so it could actually vary because each tank has different vulnerable spots. All armors are different, so you need to know where to aim. Okay, so this is actually one of the most important parts. And it is how to get more silver lions and the golden eagles. Okay guys, so the first way is watching ads and the logging rewards. So you will receive daily rewards just by logging into the game. Also, in the store, you will receive 
free rewards before watching the ads. All you need to do is to click and you will receive your reward. It won't be too much, but everything free will be useful. Just like the PC version. In War Thunder Mobile, buying the premium account is the best investment that you could do in the game. I recommend you to do this before purchasing any other tank or warship. It will also give you additional experience that will help you to unlock all the vehicles faster. Plus, it will give you more gold and more silver lions. You can get silver lions and golden eagles in the trophy chests. And also, you can get the trophy chest by watching ads. Using a premium platoon will give you more experience in the golden eagles. So this actually means that this additional experience golden eagles and the silver lions will be different for the actual rewards that you're receiving with the premium account. So this will be another special booster that will help you to grind faster. Be the best in every battle and you will receive a high gear reward. If you finish in the first place, your reward will be higher. This means that you will get more silver lions and more golden eagles. So always try to play your best and to get the more eliminations possible. Control the speed in your aircrafts. When using bombers, it's better to reduce the airspeed. This will make easier to hit the enemies with your bombs and it will give you more precision. Repair your tank in a safe position. Never do it in an open spot of the map and also use smoke bombs. It will be really helpful to avoid all the enemy attacks. Okay guys, so now I will give you some short tips for the naval in War Thunder Mobile. Always play as close as possible to your teammates. It will be impossible to defeat a team that play together. This is not a first person shooter, this is a strategy game. So the smartest players will win. If you have a good strategy with your team, you will win all your battles. Always aim below the enemy cannons. Yes, because in that part is located the ammo storage of the warship. It means like it is the most vulnerable spot of the ship. And it will be easier to destroy them. Okay, so remember that there's also aviation in the naval mode of War Thunder Mobile. So the same type of aviation applies to the warships. Always pick a strategy strategic position to your warship in order to get some cover before deploying your aircraft. Okay guys, so now I will make a short demonstration about the game. Okay, so this is not my main account by the way, but I used this one because I wanted to show you that this mobile game is not pay to win. I mean, it is not as pay to win as other mobile games because I have 29 days of premium account but I never purchased that premium account. That was a free reward that I got after playing the game. So as you can see, the grind in this game is different. Here we don't have the tech trees. We have platoons. So as we level up, we will be able to purchase platoons. Also, of course, that you can purchase some tanks and some platoons with the real money and some golden eagles. Also, you will have to make upgrades to your tanks, your crew and the maintenance of the tank. Okay, guys, so I'm not a pro player. Okay, so I'm not a pro player. Let me start with that statement, but I'm pretty sure that I could give you a hint if you're a beginner in this game. So the first thing that I could recommend you is to never play alone. I mean, if you try to go alone and think that you will destroy all the enemy team, that's a bad idea. In fact, I recommend you to play behind your teammates, okay? So that's actually what I'm gonna do right now. So as you can see, they are already in battle, so I will use my teammates as a cover. So it seems like there are some tanks over there. Look, there's a tank right there. Nice, we destroyed the first uh, tank. Okay, so let's go back because they already destroyed uh, two of my teammates. So, as you can see, I fired a smoke bomb. Okay, so it will be helpful in order to retreat if I don't have to repair my tank. 
Okay, so remember that we shouldn't expose the rear side of the tank. So I'm gonna show only the front part, even though it's a bad idea. So this is the ear strike. This is what I told you earlier. So as you can see, sometimes you want to be able to spot enemy tanks. If it will be bro, I need to get some cover right now. So. I can actually deploy some aircraft right now, but it was a bad idea since all of my teammates were destroyed. And that was a vulnerable spot to let my tank uh, there. Bro, what happened? Okay guys, so remember that there are no realistic battles in this game, because at the end uh, this is a mobile game. We will have tech trees about aviation soon, that is actually confirmed. Oh, let's try to destroy this tank. Bro, what is this guy doing? I need to take some cover right now. So, I'm going this way. Okay, guys. So, as I told you, I'm not a pro player. And I will have to play another battle because I was destroyed. Okay, so this is actually one of my favorite maps of the game. Because it is not too complicated. And it is pretty easy to find the enemies and destroy them. So... There's a lot of uh, positions in order to get cover, which actually I like a lot. Okay, so there are no enemies over here. Remember that the main goal is to capture the point. Okay, so it seems like we're going to capture point A. But we must uh, be careful, bro. They are going to destroy that tank too. It seems like there's another enemy over there. Bro, they are destroying all my all my teammates. I'm gonna deploy some smoke uh, vamps. Okay, so let's turn here to the left. There's a tank there, bro! Woof! That was close. Oh! There's a tank over there! Should focus in this guy. Look at that! Nice! We can cause a lot of damage to that tank and I'm pretty sure that we're going to destroy it. Look at this! Nice! We destroyed that tank! Okay, so... What are we going to do right now? There are no enemies over here, but... I need to get closer to my teammates. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so there are more tanks. I have an idea right here. Bro, look at this drift. Okay. Hello, my friend. Easy. No, not that easy. I need to aim. <laughs> oh, bro, that was a bad aim. No way. He's gonna see me. Bro, I need to move. I need to move right now. Okay, no more enemies over here. Okay, so let's start an air battle right now. Yes, because I'm going to show you, bro. There's no way. There's an, en there's an enemy here. I'm going to die, bro. Okay, guys. So remember that these are arcade battles. These are not a realistic battles. So let's try to follow this aircraft and destroy it. Okay, so it is actually a bomber, it seems. Okay, so let's try to follow that uh, bomber. That's what we're gonna do right now. Let's try to get closer, bro. It's too far. Let's keep firing the weapons. Let's see if we can cause some damage. I'm gonna get closer. We will be able to destroy the bomber. What are you doing, my friend? Okay, so we must uh, be careful because it is too easy to crash in this uh, game mode. So, I guess that we're going to destroy it. Look at this. Let's try to reduce the ear speed. Oh, bro, there's no way. Okay, so actually my tank uh, wasn't uh, destroyed. Okay, so these are good uh, news. Okay, so let's turn here to the right. Okay, so it seems like we're gonna win this battle. It's gonna be easier than I thought. No enemies over here. Okay, so it seems like it was destroyed. If like we're going to win this battle. Okay, so I don't see more enemy tanks. If it was a victory. Nice.